The F-16 Fighting Falcon, a multi-role jet fighter, stands as one of the most successful and iconic aircraft in the history of military aviation. Its design and development journey from initial concept to production encapsulates a series of pivotal decisions, technological advancements and strategic imperatives that shaped its remarkable capabilities and enduring legacy. In the early 1970s, the United States Air Force sought to develop a new lightweight fighter aircraft that would provide superior performance and versatility at a lower cost than its predecessors. This initiative, driven by the need to address the evolving threat landscape and budgetary constraints, led to the Lightweight Fighter Program. The vision was to create an agile, affordable and highly manoeuvrable fighter that could outperform existing Soviet aircraft, particularly the MiG-21 and MiG-23, which posed significant challenges to American air superiority. The USAF's emphasis on a lightweight design marked a departure from the prevailing trend of increasingly complex and expensive fighters. The goal was to strike a balance between advanced technology and cost effectiveness, ensuring the new aircraft could be produced in large numbers without compromising performance. In 1972, the USAF launched a competitive prototyping phase, inviting major aerospace manufacturers to submit designs. Two companies, General Dynamics and Northrop, emerged as the primary contenders with their respective prototypes, the YF-16 and YF-17. This competitive approach aimed to foster innovation and drive the development of the most effective design through rigorous evaluation and testing. General Dynamics YF-16 prototype, designed by a team led by Harry Hilliker, embodied a revolutionary design philosophy centred on agility, speed and pilot visibility. Key features included a blended wing body configuration, which reduced aerodynamic drag and enhanced manoeuvrability. The aircraft's frameless bubble canopy provided unparalleled visibility, a critical advantage in dogfights. Additionally, the YF-16 was equipped with a relaxed static stability and fly-by-wire control system, which enhanced its agility and responsiveness, allowing pilots to execute complex manoeuvres with greater precision. Northrop's YF-17, while also innovative, adopted a twin-engine configuration and a more traditional design approach. Although it showcased excellent performance, the YF-16's emphasis on single-engine simplicity, combined with its superior agility and lower cost, ultimately swayed the USAF's decision in favour of General Dynamics design. The F-16's development was characterised by several technological breakthroughs that set it apart from previous generations of fighter aircraft. One of the most significant advancements was the integration of the fly-by-wire control system. Unlike traditional mechanical control systems, fly-by-wire technology used electronic signals to control the aircraft's surfaces, allowing for more precise and responsive handling. This innovation enabled the F-16 to achieve exceptional maneuverability and stability, even at high angles of attack, making it a formidable adversary in air combat. Another crucial technological innovation was the introduction of the Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW200 turbofan engine, which provided the F-16 with a high thrust-to-weight ratio, enhancing its speed and climb performance. The engine's afterburner capability allowed the aircraft to reach supersonic speeds, further solidifying its reputation as a highly versatile and agile fighter. The F-16's aerodynamic design also played a pivotal role in its development. The aircraft's wing shape characterised by a leading edge extension and a high lift, low drag profile, contributed to its exceptional manoeuvrability and performance in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. The blended wing body design minimised drag and improved fuel efficiency, extending the aircraft's range and operational flexibility. A key aspect of the F-16's design philosophy was its focus on pilot-centric features and human factors engineering. The cockpit was designed to enhance pilot situational awareness and comfort, crucial for sustained high-performance operations. The frameless bubble canopy provided an unobstructed view of the surrounding airspace, giving pilots a significant advantage in dogfights and complex air combat scenarios. The F-16's cockpit layout was also meticulously designed to reduce pilot workload and enhance operational efficiency. The use of a side stick controller, rather than the traditional centre stick, allowed for more innovative control inputs, particularly during high-G manoeuvres. The HOTAS configuration enabled pilots to access critical controls without taking their hands off the throttle and stick, further improving reaction times and overall mission effectiveness. 
The YF-16 superiority over the YF-17 was confirmed through an extensive testing and evaluation phase. The prototypes underwent rigorous flight testing, demonstrating their performance characteristics and operational capabilities. The YF-16 consistently outperformed the YF-17 in terms of agility, acceleration and overall combat effectiveness. In 1975, following the successful evaluation of the YF-16, the USAF announced that General Dynamics design had been selected for production. The aircraft was officially designated as the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and a production contract was awarded to General Dynamics. This decision marked a significant milestone in the F-16's development, transitioning from prototype to operational fighter. The transition from prototype to production involved several critical steps to ensure the F-16 met the USAF's operational requirements and performance standards. General Dynamics worked closely with the USAF to refine the aircraft's design, incorporating feedback from flight tests and operational evaluations. Production of the F-16 began in earnest, with the first operational aircraft delivered to the USAF in 1978. The initial production model, designated the F-16A, retained the core design features of the YF-16 prototype while incorporating enhancements to avionics, weapon systems and structural components. The F-16A was followed by the two-seat F-16B variant, which provided additional training capabilities for new pilots. As the F-16 entered operational service, it quickly demonstrated its versatility and effectiveness across a wide range of missions. The aircraft's multiple capabilities allowed it to perform air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes and close air support missions with equal proficiency. The F-16's adaptability made it a valuable asset for the USAF and its NATO allies, who recognised its potential to enhance their respective air forces. The success of the F-16 in operational service underscored its strategic impact and global appeal. The aircraft's affordability, performance and versatility made it an attractive option for numerous countries seeking to modernise their air forces. The F-16 was subsequently adopted by several NATO member states and allied nations, solidifying its status as a cornerstone of Western air power. The global adoption of the F-16 also facilitated international cooperation and interoperability among allied air forces. Joint training exercises and shared operational experiences allowed F-16 operators to develop standardised tactics and strategies, enhancing their collective effectiveness in coalition operations. The F-16's design and development journey did not end with its initial production. The aircraft continued to evolve through a series of upgrades and enhancements ensuring its relevance in an ever-changing threat environment. Successive variants, including the F-16D and the advanced F-16EF, introduced new avionics, weapon systems and structural improvements to maintain the aircraft's competitive edge. The F-16's legacy extends beyond its technical achievements. The aircraft's development process, characterised by innovative design philosophies, rigorous testing and pilot-centric features, set a new standard for fighter aircraft design. The F-16 success also influenced subsequent aircraft programs, including the development of the F-35 Lightning II, which incorporated lessons learned from the F-16's operational experience. In conclusion, the design and development of the F-16 Fighting Falcon represents a remarkable achievement in the history of military aviation. From its inception as a lightweight fighter concept to its status as a global icon, the F-16's journey embodies the convergence of technological innovation, strategic vision and human ingenuity. The decisions made during its development, driven by the need for agility, affordability and versatility, ensured that the F-16 would remain a cornerstone of air power for decades to come.